offers a certain satisfying symmetry to a 3x3 grid. Think of the solved edge of a Rubik's Cube, your Instagram top 9, or the tied up terminus of a round of tic-tac-toe with your nephew when the board is finally full and you don't have to play anymore. Like the rest of the big German automakers, Mercedes has long had a three-tiered approach to sedan production, in ascending sizes from small to medium to large. The C, E, and S classes are stalwarts, the occupants of the left-hand vertical column of a standard Benz 3x3 square. But the brand has recently been busy proliferating its car lineup in an almost metastatic way, filling in the rest of the boxes in this four-door-slash-two-door-slash-convertible matrix. Now it is finally releasing the vehicle that occupies the middle of the middle, the middle row of the middle column. And any Hollywood Squares fan knows you can't win the game without the center square. This car is the 2018 Mercedes-Benz E-Class Coupe, which will join its sedan brother this summer, a new convertible will join the lineup later this year. The simple answer to what differentiates this car from its sibling is that it lacks rear doors, as well as the barriers between the front and rear windows and any framing surrounding them. But the true differences lie a bit deeper in the E-Coupe's physical makeup. The two door is shorter, wider, and lower than the sedan, and rides on a wheelbase that eliminates a few inches between the wheel wells. But it is nearly 5 inches longer than its predecessor, the previous generation E-Class Coupe. And just about all of that room goes into the cabin. To briefly confuse things, the last E-Class Coupe was actually based on the C-Class, which explains the size difference. What this means is that the coupe has a lower center of gravity, and a slightly more sporty appearance than the sedan, and that people of normal size can ride in the carefully carved back seat without feeling like the trash in a compactor. The aforementioned frameless, retractable windows help bring in the light and air, as does the giant retractable panoramic glass sunroof. Also brightening up the interior is this old dashboard differentiator from the sedan, a row of stylish vac vents, the design of which is quite intricate but bears an unfortunate resemblance to a silver sphincter. Our seat of the pants assessment of the coupe on the twisty and picturesque mountain and village roads around Catalonia did little to confirm the slightly more sporting nature of the coupe over the sedan. That's in part because the difference is probably negligible, but more so because it's irrelevant. This E-Class Coupe is not a hardcore two-door curve carver like the AMG GT or C63S Coupe, it is more of an elegant boulevardy relined with the S550 Coupe, controlled and in control, but never harsh. This is in no way meant as an insult. A Mercedes-Benz two-door, especially one powered by the 329 horsepower 354 pound foot twin turbo 3.0 liter V6 that motivates much of the rest of the E-Class line of cars and crossovers, is one of life's more adult. <laughs>